ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trades People's Tip. A quick fix I had to do. My daughter phoned me, um, the tap wouldn't turn off, so I had to talk her through it. I'm gonna try and just go through it with you quickly. Right here, we have the center cap for here. Right, no, it isn't. So I think it might be. Let's work it as we go along, okay? That goes onto there and then it's screwed in, okay? That goes on top of there, just like that. That bit is a bit of the tap. This piece then goes in here, just like that, it goes together. So she phones me and she tells me everything. This is how we went through. Put me on WhatsApp, FaceTime, showed me what's going on, told her. Pop that bit out. Inside there, there's a screw. Take the screw out. That's it. Why did I tell us to do that? To see if this top bit was just spinning or if she could get this off, then she could manually turn it off from there. That didn't work. So next, we go down the pipe and we couldn't see a cut off valve. It's a T piece, it's just like, it, you'll see if you know, you just turn it that way, the water turns off. Turn it that way, the water turns on. Basically, you'll see it in the, in the pipeline if there is one. Anyway, we couldn't find one, so that killed that solution. Next, no, no, whatever you call it, the idea, kill that idea, right? So we run to the kitchen, check out the kitchen, underneath the sink, found the tap, turn the tap off. But in the meantime, because this kept running, and we wanted to slow it down. What we done, we turn on the rest of the water in the house so the pressure eased off of here. Once we did that, done that, done that, done that, done that, the water is off. Right. We feel more comfortable. So I've come down now and I've got an old tap. Let me try to find it and show you. See? Just a little old tap. Alright? So. Try to get that screw out, it ain't turning off. Oh my days, what am I gonna do now? But I made sure I brought it hot and cold just in case. Anyway, got this screw out, pop the top off. There it is, pop the top off. And inside of there now, what we have is, where's our old one? Oh my days, this piece here, basically. All right, so that can't we can't get that off. So what I have is this piece. So I took it out, screwed it in there. Voila, it fits. Put the top back on. Turn my water back on. This is not the best that in the world. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, people are joking, joking. My daughter's loved it. I sorted it. You know what I mean? People like it. I take care of it myself. Right, I've decided to just do a little um, price comparison, see which one makes sense while I was laying here on the sofa watching the TV. Right now, I'm on Amazon. I've also got an affiliate, uh, affiliate uh, link. I'll put it in the description. It would help me out if, yeah, you don't understand. Yeah, okay, as I scroll down and look in. Look at that, eh? We got the whole nine yards. Okay. These valves, let's go work with these ones, yeah? Eight pounds, I can't see. Eight pounds, 90. Got the valve and the tops. Eight pounds, 95. And we've got the taps complete, 19 pound. Personally, this is what I would do. Simply because, but before I do that, I would try taking that one out. Make sure that I can get that out. If I can't get that out, then i got a nightmare. So then I might just go for both of these. But if I can get that out, this will be my option. Okay. So, hope that helped. This is the bit of screws that I couldn't get out. This is the bit, all of this lot inside here must have collapsed because all i saw was that little white piece that you saw anyway good luck have fun
sorting it out. Fate has people. 